SpaceX's Starship and Super Heavy is a fully reusable rocket system designed to take 150 ton of cargo or 100 passengers to low Earth orbit, Moon, Mars and beyond. In reality, the Starship project started as early as 2012. However, in the initial years, only a small team of SpaceX engineers were working on the project. The Starship development started in full swing from late 2018. In 2018, SpaceX started constructing the first prototypes of Starship at its rocket facility in South Texas village, Boca Chica. Throughout 2018, 2019 and 2020, a lot of design changes were made in the Starship and Super Heavy system, along with various improvements in construction methods. Some of the radical changes in the Starship include change from advanced carbon composite to stainless steel, using two aerodynamic flaps instead of the previously proposed three. SpaceX also improved the welding techniques for the Starship's stainless steel. In 2019, we saw the first test flight of the first Starship test vehicle, the Starhopper. The main goal for the Starhopper was to demonstrate the first use of Raptor engine in real flight. Starhopper successfully flew to an altitude of 150 meter and covered a lateral distance of 100 meters from the launch pad. During the same time, SpaceX was constructing the first full-scale Starship prototype, Mark 1. Mark 1 was the first Starship prototype to have nose cone and aerodynamic flaps and was expected to be the first Starship prototype vehicle for high altitude flight tests. However, SpaceX quickly realized the flaws in the structural system of the prototype and decided to retire it even before any flight tests. Mark 1 was then used as a pathfinder for better construction methods and it was tested to destruction on November 20, 2019. SpaceX also had a rocket facility in Florida where they initially were constructing Starship prototypes Mark II and Mark IV. However, this latter stopped the facility and Starship development was completely focused in Texas. In December 2019, SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk announced that the Starship Mark III would be redesignated as Starship Serial No. 1 or SN1. SpaceX adopted a new welding method called tip tick welding. This new production method ensured stronger joints and a mass reduction of about 20%. SpaceX started stacking SN1 prototype in Feb 2020. The welding quality of the Starship prototype had increased with the new methods but Starship SN1 failed a cryogenic pressurization test on 28 February. The failure was caused due to the design failure of the lower tank's thrust structure where the Raptor engines are mounted. It caused the prototype rocket to rupture and the top of the rocket was sent flying into the air. With the failure of SN1, SpaceX had to readjust their plans for Starship SN2. Starship SN2 was a much smaller test prototype to test the welding methods being used and also to test the design of the thrust puck. SpaceX successfully completed the cryogenic proof test of Starship SN2 on 8th March 2020. After the successful test of Starship SN2, Elon Musk discussed SpaceX's future plans for the Starship. The SN3 prototype was expected to undergo static fire tests and future short hops, while the SN4 prototype was going to be used for high altitude flight tests. However, when one is developing a completely radical rocket system, delays and setbacks are just part of the equation. Starship SN3 was destroyed during testing on 3rd April 2020. However, by this time, SpaceX had improved their production techniques and the cause of failure for Starship SN3 was not any structural issue. The failure of prototype was caused due to a test configuration error. The lower oxygen tank of the rocket was filled with liquid nitrogen in order to remain pressurized and structurally capable of withstanding the weight of the methane tank above it. However, during the test, a valve was accidentally commanded to open which resulted in the loss of pressure of the lower section of Starship. This caused the structural failure and the prototype crumbled under the heavy methane tanks. The failure resulted in the delay of the future plans for Starship by few weeks. With the unfortunate mishap in the SN3 testing, Starship SN4 was quickly built by reusing some of the parts from the SN3 itself which were not damaged. Starship SN4 successfully passed the cryogenic proof test on 26th April, less than a month after SN3's failure. After the successful pressure test on May 5th and 7th, SpaceX went on to do two successful static fire tests for Starship SN4, one using the main fuel tank and the other using the header tanks. Following this, SpaceX attempted a third static fire on 19th May. However, during the static fire, the vibration caused by the engine shook loose a methane fuel piping inside the engine which led to a leak. This leak ignited a ball of fire which spread in all directions. The fire caused significant damage to the base of rocket and destroyed the control wiring there. Due to this, the team at SpaceX were unable to command SN4 to depressurize. As a result, they have to wait for two days as the prototype's fuel evaporated and burst open the pressurization plate inside the rocket 
which is designed to open when pressure inside the rocket is very high. On May 29th, SpaceX conducted a fourth round of static fire for Starship SN4. But after the successful static fire, Starship SN4 started to leak propellant. The leak contained highly inflammable liquid oxygen and this led to explosion. So eventually, Starship SN4 also ended in a failure even before it could lift off from the ground. We all know about Elon Musk's insanely aspirational targets. And even though we don't always see them happen in the given time frame, SpaceX definitely achieves them faster than any other organization. For instance, in March 2020, Elon Musk had set an aspirational goal of using Starship SN5 and SN6 for orbital flight tests before the end of 2020. However, this would have happened if SN3 and SN4 wouldn't have ended in destruction. So by the time Starship SN4 failed, SpaceX had to again reiterate the testing plans for Starship SN5 and SN6. During the testing phase of Starship SN4, SpaceX had already started stacking Starship SN5 and even SN6. SN5 completed a successful round of static fire test on July 30, 2020. Following the successful static fire, on 4th August, Starship SN5 completed a 150-meter flight. Starship SN5 was the first full-scale Starship to lift off from the ground. However, during the flight, the Raptor engine had a small fire around it. But this may have occurred due to the trapped flammable gases in the skirt section of the Starship. As of the making of this video, Starship SN5 is still intact and SpaceX may use it for further short hop tests in future. With the successful hop of Starship SN5, there were a lot of speculations whether SpaceX will be using Starship SN6 for high altitude flight tests. However, SN6 was installed with a single Raptor engine just like Starship SN5. SN6 completed a static fire on 24th August. Following this, on 3rd September, Starship SN6 successfully performed a 150m flight test and like SN5, SN6 is also present at the SpaceX rocket facility as of now. So by the time of the successful flight test of Starship SN5 and SN6, SpaceX had significantly improved the construction methods for the Starship. All the Starship prototypes till Starship SN6 use a particular type of stainless steel called 301 stainless steel. However, in March, Elon Musk announced that SpaceX will move to a superior stainless steel alloy called 304L stainless steel. 304L is a low carbon variant of stainless steel and also reduces welding issues. Further, 304L stainless steel performs better at cryogenic temperatures. SpaceX had started building Starship SN7 even before the test flights of Starship SN5 and SN6. Starship SN7 was kind of like SN2 where SpaceX produced a smaller test tank to understand the best manufacturing techniques for the new material. Starship SN7 underwent a cryogenic strength test on June 15th. The test article achieved a maximum pressure of 7.6 bars before it started to leak. SpaceX engineers later repaired the leak and the tank was tested to destruction on June 23rd. By mid-July, SpaceX decided to build another test tank out of 304L stainless steel to perform further tests. The new test tank was called Starship 7.1. The tank was tested several times before it was tested to destruction on 23rd September. SN 7.1 achieved a maximum pressure of 8 bar. These tests were pathfinder tests to improve the manufacturing methods for Starship. Now comes the big one. Whenever someone will glance back at Starship's development in 2020, they will surely remember SN 8 as the most significant leap. Starship SN8 was initially planned to be built entirely out of 304L stainless steel. However, later, SN8 was built out of 301 stainless steel with some parts out of 304L stainless steel. Starship SN8 underwent a series of static fire tests and wet dress rehearsals. Starship SN8 was the first full-scale Starship to have a nose cone section and aerodynamic flaps after the Mark 1 prototype. It was also the first Starship prototype to successfully complete a static fire tests using three Raptor engines. SN8 was going to perform the first high altitude flight test for a Starship prototype, where it was going to use three Raptors for ascent, aerodynamic flaps for controlled descent and perform the crucial belly flop maneuver to land. SN8 was planned to achieve a maximum altitude of 15 km. However, on December 3rd, SpaceX reduced the altitude to 12.5 km. Starship SN8 was targeting a flight test on 8 December. However, the flight was postponed as the Raptor engines triggered the auto-abort system just 1.3 seconds before liftoff. However, the rocket fans didn't have to wait long as the next launch window was on the very next day on 9th December. Starship SN8 successfully lifted off on 9th December. SN8 successfully lifted off and had a stable flight. Once it reached the maximum altitude, SN8 went flat on its belly for a controlled descent using flap. 
Asenet successfully performed the belly flop maneuver and relighted the engines for the landing burn. However, due to low methane header tank pressure, the Raptor engines couldn't perform perfectly and the rocket landed at the higher than expected landing velocity, eventually leading to rapid unplanned disassembly. Even though SN8 failed to land, it was a very successful test and outperformed everyone's expectation. SN8 gave SpaceX team very essential data that they can use to make hardware and software changes in the future Starship prototypes. If you want to know more about the cause of the failure of Starship SN8, I've already made an in-depth video on this topic. Do consider watching it after this one. As of the making of this video, SpaceX already have Starship SN9 and SN10 almost complete. Starship SN9 is the first Starship prototype which has been completely built out of 304L stainless steel. SpaceX has been rapidly manufacturing Starship prototypes. For instance, they have parts being produced for Starship SN16. Elon Musk has indicated that some major upgrades are going to take place for Starship SN15. Along with Starship, SpaceX has started manufacturing the ring sections of the Super Heavy Booster's first prototype named Booster No. 1 or BN1. 2020 was by far the most significant year in terms of progress of Starship. This has been the year when we saw a lot of design improvements and development in the manufacturing methods. Even though SpaceX could not meet the goal of reaching orbit this year, they have made significant leap in the Starship project with two 150-meter hops and a high-altitude flight test. SpaceX is looking on target to achieve orbit next year. Apart from this, Elon Musk is anticipating an uncrewed mission to Mars as early as 2022, followed by a crewed mission by 2026, if all goes according to plan. The next year is surely going to be even more interesting, as we will see more high-altitude flight tests and even orbital test flights. The development of Starship has proved that fully reusable rockets are possible and if we want to have a space-faring future, they are a necessity. That's all for today's video. What do you think? Will Starship reach orbit next year or we may have some more delays? Do let me know in the comments down below. If you like the content, do consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.